Alright, welcome back everyone to ID Switch Mania. So today I'm going to talk to you about uh, breeding, uh, breeding live bearers from the genus Fossilidae and uh, Siamese fighting fish, that are splendid. So yesterday we have set up uh, all the breeding tanks. So we are just using some plastic containers. So you know, we're not using the big tanks. So what we did here. So we just prepared the water, add some salt and some Indian almond leaf to condition the water. And right here we have uh, put a few uh, light batters. So right here we have a sorted platys and right here we have uh, the red coral platys. And we just put them yesterday in here and then look at that. Look at that. We already have fries. This is the sorted uh, platy. Right here we have the uh, uh, red wagtail. We got the Mickey Mouse platy, the Sun Kiss platy in there. Right here, this is the red coral platy, and we also have fries. The fries are smaller than, than the normal platies. So uh, what we're going to do today with this, we're going to remove any of the females that looks like it, they have given birth and then we're going to leave the female that is still pregnant in here uh, also on, on the assorted patties and then we're going to start feeding the fry with micro worms we'll start with micro worms and then uh, we'll vary the diet according to uh, the size so we'll start with micro worm and then we'll, we'll start giving them a grinded worms or moina uh, possibly we're going to start teaching them to eat uh, micro pellets uh, and some type of dark dry food. Okay, so moving over here, we have panda mollies. So these are all panda mollies. Let's see if we can get some. Oh, there it is. The panda mollies. It's just, it's just a yellow and black molly. Um, I don't see any pregnant females yet in here, so we're gonna leave them. I'll possibly take some time before they start to breed. Okay. On the other containers, are just empty containers. These empty containers, uh, we are prepared for beta fries. For when the fry hatch, we have to move them to the bigger tank. If you if you leave them in the small container, a lot of the fry will die. So let's uh, check on all our beta. So yesterday, we have set them up, this is what we did, uh, some water in here, just a pinch of salt, uh, some plastic for the male to build a nest, now you can see there's lots of uh, bubbles underneath this uh, plastic, so that's all the nest and the female is inside the bottle. So what we're going to do today, the nest is, uh, looks strong, looks fine, so we can release the female, we're going to release the female. And then we'll see if, if they breed. Sometimes they breed. Now most of the time they breed, but sometimes they'll fight. Sometimes you'll find that fish. Uh, let's hope that doesn't doesn't happen today. Uh, but we have around I think eleven containers, eleven pairs of uh, fighting fish, Siamese fighting fish, beta splendens. So we're going to open, take out, uh, release the female on all each one of them. So. Uh, I'm going to ask the students to do the ball. They will remove all of the uh, bottle that's separating the female from the male. Uh, make sure the, the nest is strong before you release. Okay? Right here, we have our wild betas. 
And this is uh, all the beta embellish that we caught yesterday. So I'm gonna uh, pair them, give to all the students so they can breed. But judging by the colors, it's hard to tell the male from the female because they are they are pale. This is the stress color form. When the fish is stressed, they lose their color. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna separate them one by one and then leave them for a day or so and then we'll see which one develops the male color and the female usually you can tell the male from the female by the anal fin anal and dorsal fin but a lot of them has damaged fin so i cannot tell 100 percent which one is male or female so the other way to ensure you, you get a pair is to separate them first and wait for the colors to develop so we're gonna do that a little on today here's a beta splendens female copper female copper beta splendens so what i'm going to do with this i'm going to try to hybrid this fella with one of the beta embellish so we're going to do a hybrid with this fella one pair of hybrid the rest are pure uh, pure beta embellish uh, right here we have two pairs of Beta Livida uh, Okay, there they are These are Beta Livida We are not preparing them to breed right now We are just trying to fatten them up first Feed them uh, We are going to set some plastic plants Because it's dark here You cannot put live plants It's going to die So we are going to put plastic plants here And do some water change And, uh, and try to breed them uh, the beta libida the male is, is the one with the spots the female is at the bottom here's the other pair and the male is at the back no no the male is at the front the female is at the back okay so this is our wild beta breeding setup at the shop so the rest of the wild beta is at my house i will do another video on that uh, soon so I'll keep updating you guys on our progress. So I'll see you later in Idol Switch Media. Bye bye.